Hi, Mum, it's me. I am fine, I passed the worst of the piles. And listen, Derek's taking such a shine to me now that I'm pregnant. Ah, he's become quite the perfectionist, taking photos of me always. Derek says that the female form is beautiful. Totally worships me, that man. So uh, he sent the negatives off to this laboratory in Amsterdam <laughs> and they did these nice eight by tens. Well, we couldn't send them to Boots, could we? Because seemingly pregnant women can break Boots' development equipment and then I'd have to pay them £500. And I've not got £500, have I? Well, no, no, anyway, because I gave it to Derek's pal to set up the trust fund for the Wayne. Ah, he's away on holiday to Spain first and then he's going to set the trust fund up as soon as he comes back. Do you know, I just feel a wee bit sorry that I can't keep the Wayne, but... Well, see, because my surname's Carmichael, we wouldn't be able to get a birth certificate in Britain. Ah, uh, it's something to do with the Millennium Dome. <laughs> but he, Derek, is due. He knows this American couple and they're going to look after the Wayne for us. Imagine that, mummy. My wee baby living in America. All we've got to do is send them £100 a month out of my disability and they'll pay the rest. Right. Well, I just give the money to Derek because it's him that's got the bank account. See, I can't get a bank account, can I, because of the Millennium Dome. <laughs> anyway, Mum, I better get back to my phone lines. Well, it's just a wee pocket money job that I've got. What happens is all these different doctors phone up and I have to tell them what's going on with my bits and pieces seeing I'm pregnant, you know. Look, it's no trouble at all, really, because they're never on the phone for more than a couple of minutes at a time. All right, then. Love you too. Night-night, Mum. Night-night.